Welcome everybody. This is going to be a quick introduction to the Gravity View plugin. And in this video, we're going to show you how to use Gravity View to display your Gravity Forms entries on the front end of your website. So as you can see, I've got an employment application form here. So let's take a look at some of the entries. We've received quite a few applications already. So now what we want to do is display these entries on the front end so that our staff can vet them and send the best ones to our hiring manager. To display our entries on the front end using Gravity View, we need to create a new view. So to do this, we'll hover over Gravity Kit and click New View. After giving our view a name, we'll need to select a data source. The data source is a Gravity Forms form containing the entries that we want to display on the front end. So let's go ahead and select our employment application form. The next step is to choose a view type. A view type allows you to display your entries using different layouts. For this example, we're going to go ahead and select the table layout. So here we are inside the view editor. And as you can see, Gravity View has actually pre-configured this layout for us. But before we talk about that, let's have a look at the different sections here. So at the top, we have a top widgets area where we can add widgets. Gravity View has pre-configured that with a search bar for us and a couple of other widgets. At the bottom, there's another widgets area. And then in the middle, we have this section called the entries field section. And here is where we can add form fields to display user submitted values on the front end. Gravity View has already added a number of fields here for us. And these are the same fields that appear in the columns on the entries page in Gravity Forms. Okay, so before we make any changes, let's get a handle on what this looks like on the front end. We'll scroll up and save the draft. And we can check it out by clicking on this link. Gravity View is telling us that there are 10 unapproved entries that are not being shown. This is to do with Gravity View's inbuilt approval system, which allows you to approve entries before they show up on the front end. However, we're not going to be using that in our employment application view, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that option off. Here is our view on the front end. Here are the widgets that Gravity View added for us. And here are our form fields displayed in the table columns. So as you can see, the first name here is actually a link. So if we click on that, this takes us through to the single entry page where we can view the full application for this applicant. Let's head back to the view editor and see what this looks like. As you can see, there's three tabs at the top of the view editor the multiple entries layout, single entry layout, and edit entry layout. So if we scroll down, we'll see that the first name field looks a little bit different. And if we click on the gear icon, we can see that's been made a link to the single entry. To configure the single entry layout, we can just click on the single entry layout tab. But as you can see, Gravity View has pre-configured this for us by adding all of our form fields. It's also added a link to the edit entry layout. Let's go back to the front end. And if we scroll down, we can see a link to edit the entry. If we click on that, it takes us through to the edit entry layout where all of these fields are editable from the front end. So let's change the position applied for from sales to engineering. And maybe we'll update some of these values too. Okay, now we can scroll down to the bottom, agree to the terms, and click Update. Great, so the entry has been updated, and we can click this link to return to the entry. And as you can see, the position applied for is now Engineering. So let's go back to the main view. I decided I want to add a few more fields here on the multiple entries layout and maybe configure the search functionality too. So let's go back to the view editor and I'll scroll up, click on the multiple entries layout and let's start by configuring the search bar. 
So I can click on this gear icon here to bring up the search settings. And at the moment we just have one search field. But let's add some more by clicking this plus icon. I'll update this search field to the email address. And I'll add another field for the position applied for. And maybe one more field for the city. Okay. Now let's add some more fields to the entries field section. I can do that by clicking on this add table column button. And now we can simply select the field that we want to add. So let's add the best time to call. There we go. Now let's update our view, save the draft again. And we'll go ahead and refresh the page. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, our search bar has changed. We've now got four search inputs. We can search by email address, the position applied for, the city, and we can just search by a keyword here. Okay, and as you can see in our table, we've added a new column here, best time to call you. So let's test out the search functionality, and let's say we only want to see applicants who applied for a role in the marketing department. And as you can see, we've got two applicants, Thomas and Laura. I've also decided that I don't want all of these fields to be editable from the front end. So I'm gonna go back to the view editor, click on the edit entry layout tab, and here I can add fields that I want to be editable. So let's go ahead and add the name, email address, address, and phone number. Okay. Let's save the draft and I will refresh the view. Now, as you can see, only the fields that I've added to the layout are editable. I'm really happy with how the view is looking, but I want to make a few small changes. So for example, these field labels, I want to shorten them a little bit. So let's go back to the view editor, scroll down. And instead of your email address, I just want that to say email. So I'll open up the field settings, scroll down and add a custom label. I'm going to do the same with this last field, best time to call you. Let's save that again. Okay, that's looking much better. In fact, I think we're ready to publish the view and embed it on a page. So let's go back to the view editor, we'll publish the view. And now we can embed the view on a page. So let's create a new page. Give the page a title. And here we'll add a new block. And we'll search for gravity view. Here we go, we're going to add the gravity view view block. Now we need to select our view from the drop down here. There we go, and we can preview it inside the block editor. It's looking good, so let's publish the page. And let's check it out on the front end. Okay, perfect. So in this video, you learned how to display your Gravity Forms entries on the front end using Gravity View.